before we actually install Sysmon, we're going to download this very nice filter file for Sysmon. So, so you, we only get the stuff that is relevant uh, from security. So if you Google GitHub Swift on security, you get to this page and then you download this uh, zip file. When you expand it, you're going to have these files. We're going to actually be using this one in particular. Okay. We want to read further down here on the instructions. This is actually what we're going to be uh, following for installing Sysmon with this configuration file. But first we need to actually edit it and modify a few things. So I have the file in here. The first thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to go here uh, where the um, hashes are specified and we're going to put just an asterisk here. We want all the hashes. One of the good things about uh, Sysmon, as we mentioned in the whiteboard, is that it computes the hashes of the things, so the files are going inside the machine. Now we're going to modify some of these uh, events. So, so let's start with event uh, 7. So we're going to scroll down. So the logic of this seems to be kind of a negated uh, logic, uh, but uh, the reality is that if I put here exclude instead of include, What I'm actually doing is I'm excluding, but notice that in in the next XML condition there's nothing. So basically, by putting exclude here, I'm including all the uh, Sysmon events, uh, the ID seven. Let's go to event number nine and do the same. And here we see that event number nine also does not have anything. So again by Ex putting exclude here, we are actually including them all. Same thing on event number 10. And event 17 and 18. So let's scroll down for all those pipes. So we're going to save this file. Actually save it as uh, one. And here in the Windows 7 machine we still have open uh, from the previous video the WinCollect configuration. So let's actually go ahead and create a desktop folder here. Let's call it uh, Sysmon. And we're going to drop that file that we modified into here. So if you Google Sysmon download, you're going to get to the sys internals and the sysmon and that's the piece that you actually want to download. So that when I expanded the sysmon.zip I got this executable which is 32 system and this for 62 this is a 32 system so I'm moving the sysmon to the same folder. So I'm going to open a command window. Actually, I'm going to do it as administrator. Not sure whether I need that or not, but uh, let me actually copy the actual path and let's go there. and we have those two files in here. So let's run the command as instructed in the sysmon config uh, github instructions. So 
that's the command we're going to run. I agree, accept the license, and Sysmon is installed with that nice configuration file. Now we're going to finish configuring the WinCollect wizard and for that we're going to use one of the files that we provided in the box link. So we're going to go here and we're actually going to copy this statement and we're going to put it here where it reads expat query. All is left to do is to click here to deploy the changes. And we are done with the configuration of WinCollect and Sysmon.